Hey everyone, welcome back to the BBB Bunker. Today we're looking at 2010's Devil, in some cases also known as Elevator. This is brought to us by John Eric Dowdle, who brought us uh, Poughkeepsie Tapes and Quarantine. Um, this film, we have a bunch of strangers uh, who get stuck in an elevator, and they each have their own little story and the things they have done wrong. However, unfortunately for them, one of them is killing off everyone else. It's actually the devil. The devil's in the elevator with them, killing them one by one for the sins they have committed in their life. Um, while this is all happening, there is a cop and some security guards who are watching all this unfold uh, silently through the security cameras because they can only speak to the people in the so inside. The people cannot speak back. Um, this film, I liked this film uh, for the most part. I, I think some of the characters are a little... Uh, too cliched, the whole uh, kind of claustrophobic uh, I like the claustrophobic feel of the elevator, and not just the elevator, but also those watching, because they're kind of boxed in not able to do anything you know, they, they, they're, they're outside, they're free but they're still trapped watching these people who are trapped in their own little box um, but there was just, I don't know, something with the whole thing, that is, every time that there's one of those things, you always have to have someone who is scared of tight spaces, and I understand there are people who are claustrophobic, but it's, to me, that one thing is a bit too overused as a cliche in a lot of horror films, is the person who is actually claustrophobic. I'm not saying that people who are stuck in the elevator aren't going to freak out a bit, especially once people start getting killed, but it's that instant panic, you know, of, of being in an elevator and, oh my god, we're stuck and everything's going to die, and but aside from that, I like the film. I think it, it, it's well directed. It definitely brings across that feel. It also brings across this great thing, this great feeling that I got from it is that no matter how big the world is, the world is pretty darn big. Um, you can't escape uh, certain things, especially the, the pain in your life. No matter where you go in the world, that pain is going to go with you. And, and this film kind of shows that there is no escaping that pain. Now, there are some things that bothered me, and this is a little spoilery, but the one security guard, how quickly he jumps to the fact that, oh, it's the devil. People are trapped in the elevator. That's the devil is doing this. It's the devil. It's not the fact that elevators do sometimes get stuck. No, no. Jelly toast, you know, jelly side down. That's the devil's doing that. And he's making this elevator thing happen. Now, as the film progresses and things become more and more bizarre, the supernatural element would, would be a more, quote-unquote, logical uh, explanation. But the initial thing of the, oh my god, it's the devil, eh, that part bugged me a little bit. But but still, on a scale of 1 to 10, this is, it's it's like Agatha Christie in, you know, modern day. It's like 10 little Indians in an elevator. Uh, that's basically what this is, you know, it's, it's, it's that people being picked off one by one by one uh, for very, you know, what, the reasons the reasons why they're being killed isn't all that important. It's just the fact that they are being killed, and you have to figure out who the killer is. Now, I personally uh, figured it out fairly early, um, but not everyone will, um, I don't think. But it, it does the, the, a typical thing, and again, this is me a bit spoilery, where it, it kind of, you know, makes people who seem too obvious to be the bad guy, that you know that they're not the bad guy, because it's made too obvious that they're the bad guy. So, um, I mean, the movie wasn't fantastic. I'm not going to say it was fantastic, but I enjoyed it. Um, I like uh, I like Poughkeepsie Tapes. I kind of like Quarantine. So I, I like uh, the way that, that Donald does his films. I, I like He can generate a specific feeling that I think uh, goes well, and he generates that claustrophobia, claustrophobic feeling, as I said, both in the elevator as well as outside, that, that sense of being trapped and unable to do anything, unable to get away. Um, so, that's all I've got for this one. Until next time, stay safe out there in the wasteland, folks.